Lesson 35. Justice was done. We'll talk about justice in this lesson. What does justice mean? Listen to the text and try to answer this question. The word justice is given two different meanings in the text. What is the distinction between them? Justice 这个词在这篇课文中给了两个意思。这两个意思的区别是什么 ？The word justice is usually associated with courts of law. We might say that justice has been done when a man's innocence or guilt has been proved beyond doubt. Justice is part of the complex machinery of the law. Those who seek it undertake an arduous journey. And can never be sure that they will find it. Judges, however wise or eminent, are human, and can make mistakes. There are rare instances when justice almost ceases to be an abstract concept. Reward or punishment are meted out quite independent of human interference. At such times, justice acts like a living force. When we use a phrase like "it serves him right." We are, in part, admitting that a certain set of circumstances has enabled justice to act of its own accord. When a thief was caught on the premises of a large jewelry store one morning, the shop assistants must have found it impossible to resist the temptation to say, "It serves him right." The shop was an old converted house with many large, disused fireplaces and tall, narrow chimneys. Towards midday, a girl heard a muffled cry coming from behind one of the walls. As the cry was repeated several times, she ran to tell the manager, who promptly rang up the fire brigade. The cry had certainly come from one of the chimneys, but as there were so many of them, the firemen could not be certain which one it was. They located the right chimney by tapping at the walls. And listening for the man's cries, after chipping through a wall which was eighteen inches thick, they found that a man had been trapped in the chimney. As it was extremely narrow, the man was unable to move, but the firefighters were eventually able to free him by cutting a huge hole in the wall. The sorry-looking blackened figure that emerged admitted at once that he had tried to break into the shop during the night, but. Had got stuck in the chimney. He had been there for nearly ten hours. Justice had been done even before the man was handed over to the police. Are you able to answer the question now? What are the two meanings of justice, and what is the difference between them? According to the text, on the one hand, justice is part of the complex machinery of the law. And on the other, justice can mean the reward or punishment some people receive immediately after they have done something. The first paragraphs of the text explain, respectively, the differences of these two meanings. 课文开头的两段呢，分别向我们解释了 justice 这两种含义 The first paragraph tells us about the legal justice. Which may not always be done. 课文第一段呢，讲的是法律意义上的正义，它未必永远得到伸张。Because judges are men, and men can make mistakes. The second paragraph tells us about justice as the natural justice, which can be done on its own. 另外一个含义呢，就是自然意义上的正义，或者说。公道，有时候不用人力干涉，自然就会实施报应。The third paragraph is about the thief, which is an example. 第三段呢，讲的就是一个窃贼的例子，在他受到法律意义的惩罚之前，其实就已经受到了自然意义的正义的惩罚。Okay, now we'll first look at some language points in this text. We might say that justice has been done. 
Justice has been done. 这是一个固定的说法，意思是 somebody has been treated fairly or punished as he or she deserves. 正义得到了伸张。When a man's innocence or guilt has been proved beyond doubt, 不容置疑的 completely certain. I'll give you one more example. His honesty is beyond doubt. 他的诚实是不容置疑的 Justice is part of the complex machinery of the law. 这里 machinery 意思是 system, 系统 For example. The machinery of government means the system or the structure of government. Those who seek it undertake an arduous journey. Undertake, 这是一个非常书面化的动词，意思就是 take or do. Look at this example. The United Nations was supposed to undertake the role of global peacemaker. Here, undertake means Have the responsibility to take the role of global peacemaker. 他呢负有维持世界和平的责任。Arduous means hard and difficult, especially involving a lot of efforts and perseverance. 它比这两个形容词的程度都要更为强烈。For example, we often describe a mountain climbing. As an arduous one, or an arduous task, 都是形容非常艰辛的一个过程 Judges, however wise or eminent, however 在这里的意思是 no matter how. 法官无论怎么样明智或者是有名 I'll give you two more examples. You should report any incident. However serious or minor it is, 不论事件严重与否 If she likes something, she'll buy it, however much it costs. 只要她喜欢什么东西，不管价钱是多少，她一定要买 Eminent means famous. Distinguished is its synonym. 它的同义词呢是 distinguished. 同是表示著名。Eminent emphasizes serious work in science or art, etc. 而 famous 就未必有这些界定 For example, we can describe a movie star as famous, but scientists as eminent. There are rare instances when justice almost ceases to be an abstract concept. 我们都知道 ，instance 在 for instance 里头就是例子的意思 ，example. But here, instances means cases, situations. So there are rare instances when. The whole part means sometimes, occasionally, 有的时候 For example, there have been a few instances when planes took off without adequate safety checks. 有过几次飞机起飞的时候呢，没有做好足够的安全检查。Justice ceases to be an abstract concept. Cease 后边既可以加不定式，也可以加 doing something. For example, some museums have ceased to charge admission. 一些博物馆已经不收门票了。Or we must cease. Dumping waste in the sea. 我们必须停止往海洋里倾倒废物。这里用的就是 cease doing something. Reward or punishment are meted out. Meet out means give or order. It's a very formal use. For example, school teachers used to meet out physical punishment to their pupils. 从前，学校的老师会对学生进行体罚。Meet out means to give punishment. Quite independent of human interference. 我们知道 independent 它的词义很多。We'll look at these examples. 
India became independent in 1947. Chile independent 指的是国家的独立。He is now financially independent. Chile independent 指的是个人的经济上的独立。The organization is completely independent of the government. Here, independent of means separate from. 独立于政府存在。和课文中的 independent of human interference 意思是一样的，不受人力干预而存在。Interference is a formal word， 干预，政府干预就是 state interference。At such times, justice acts like a living force， means as if it was an alive power。Living, 活的 Living creatures 就是活物或者生灵 A living language means an existing language which is still being spoken. When we use a phrase like "it serves him right," "it serves him right" means he deserves it. 他罪有应得 We are in part. In part means Partly, or to some degree, admitting that a certain set of circumstances, a set of circumstances means a group of situations or a series of situations, 一系列的情形 A set of 通常是指一系列或者一套 For example, a set of tools. It has enabled justice. To act of its own accord, act here means to perform or to do of its own accord. 行使，行动 Look at this example. She acted without thinking. 她做事不加考虑课文中 act 还出现了一次 Justice acts like a living force. Act as. 这里 act 是 behave 的意思。我们在前面的课文中还学习过 act as if 这个用法。The man acted as if he found my offer outrageous. Means he behaved in a way as if. Of its own accord means on its own, automatically, without being asked. 自动的。Look at this example. He attended the meeting of his own accord. Means nobody invited him. Now, after understanding these elements, let's look back to the sentence. 我们把这句话再看一下。这句话说的比较复杂。If I paraphrase it, 如果把它说的简单一点，其实就是 When we say things like "It serves him right," in a sense. What we mean is, justice can act on its own in some situations. Was caught on the premises of a large jewelry store. Premises means buildings or land used by a shop, restaurant, or company, etc. 场所或者场址。课文中说 the premises of a large jewelry store. 指的就是珠宝店内。Business premises， 经营场址。In this example， no food and drink is allowed on the premises。食品和饮料不得带入场内或者店内。The shop was an old converted house with many large disused fireplaces。Disused means No longer used. 现在不再使用的 Unused 同样是使用的否定式，但是它的意思是 never used， 从来没有使用过，或者 not being used， 现在没有使用 They located the right chimney. Located means they found the right chimney. It's slightly formal. 它的用法呢，稍微正规一些。Look at two more examples. They are still trying to locate the source of the sound. 
他们还在继续寻找声源。We cannot locate your application form at the moment. Means we cannot find your application form now. A man had been trapped in the chimney. Trap, 它的名词我们知道是陷阱的意思。做动词的时候就是 be caught in the chimney. You can also use the verb figuratively. For example, he felt trapped in such a dead end job. 他在这样一个没有前途的工作中觉得毫无希望。Trapped here means feeling hopeless. The sorry-looking blackened figure. Please pay attention to these adjectives. Sorry-looking means the one who looked sorry. Blackened. 它是由形容词 black 变成动词 blacken， 再由 blacken 的过去分词用作形容词使用的。在英文中，这样的构词方法经常使用。It's usually used to describe the quality or state. For example, broadened, 拓宽的 brightened, or sharpened, or weakened. 这篇课文有些难度。它的难度呢，主要是因为风格比较的正规。我们来看看这种风格反映在什么地方。One thing is it uses a lot of abstract nouns. 它使用了很多抽象名词。The complex machinery of the law. Machinery 是一个抽象的字。Independent of human interference. 这也是一个抽象的大词儿。A certain set of circumstances, 也是同样。除了使用抽象名词之外 ，in word choices, it uses a lot of formal verbs and prepositional phrases and nouns. 另外呢，就是选词的时候比较正规、书面化。动词 undertake, meet out， 这都是比较书面化的说法。那么形容词 arduous。还有词组 independent of, of its own accord, 名词 premises, 都是比较书面化的用法。在句式上 ，it uses a lot of indirect statements. 很多说法是间接的。For example, those who seek it undertake an arduous journey and can never be sure that they will find it. 这里用 Can never be sure. 表达的其实就是 they cannot necessarily find justice. There are rare instances when justice almost ceases to be an abstract concept. 表达的其实就是 occasionally justice becomes almost alive. 还有课文中第三段第一句话 When the thief was caught on the premises of a large jewelry store. The shop assistants must have found it impossible to resist the temptation to say, "It serves him right." 这里转了几个弯，其实要说的就是 ，the shop assistants must feel like saying, "It serves him right very much." They want to say this too much. 这篇课文虽然语言上有一些难度，但是它的内容并不难以理解。其实就是说，相信正义的存在，相信善有善报，恶有恶报这样一个自然规律。英文中也有这样的说法 ：“The good will be rewarded and the evil will be punished。”或者说 ，“God is just。”类似中文的“天网恢恢，疏而不漏”。课文中讲到的 “justice”， 另外一层呢，就是与天网相对的法网 （legal justice）。我们这篇课文强调了法网它的局限性，因为法律呢是由人来制定和执行的。课文中也说到了 ，judges are human and they can make mistakes。关于这个，英文中也有一个固定的说法，就是 to err is human。那么，相信有自然意义上的正义存在，我们多少会觉得有些安慰。OK。So much on this topic of justice. See you next time.